the top five 380 ACP double stack pistols. Let's check it out. ACP has been a very popular concealed carry choice, uh, mainly because it can be made very small. One of the things about 380 is it has less pressure. It's 9mm caliber, but it's short, and so it makes it really soft shooting. And here we have a Beretta Model 84 Cheetah. 13 plus 1 in the magazine. Uh, this was a very popular handgun for a number of years, especially in Europe. And really compared to the Beretta 92, which is their 9mm, uh, you know, it was a considerable size difference, and this made it much easy to conceal carry. But over the years, with polymer striker fire pistols, we've gotten very small 9mm, which really rival and exceed even the Beretta. But over the past few years, a resurgence in 380 ACP is happening, and one of them is the Beretta Cheetah Model 80X. Uh, this is very similar to that original Cheetah, but it has a lot of updated features. It has 13 plus 1, but there's also a number of other guns that are some smaller, some larger, and it's just giving us a lot of choices with 380 ACP, which is much easier to shoot, especially for those who have weaker hand strength, they're recoil sensitive, or you just want better shot placement very quickly. And with a number of really high quality self-defense loads, this makes an excellent concealed carry choice. So today we're going to take a look at the top five 380 ACP double stack handguns that are excellent for concealed carry, or for that matter, home defense. Well guys, here are the five 380 ACP double stack pistols that are on the market currently. Uh, and there are a couple that are coming up right away, but this is what's available and these have all been out for a little while. But there are different sizes, different prices, different features. So there's quite a few different details, but we're going to go through each one pretty quickly. Now all the guns that we're showing and will show have been safety checked. Uh, we have a lot of guns to show. But over the years, the Ruger LCP has been a very popular handgun. One of the reasons is because it's tiny. Uh, and this only holds six rounds, but man, you can put this in your pocket. You can hide this very easily. Uh, and they did come out with the LCP-2, but this is the original. And guys, this is a great little gun. Uh, the trigger pull on this one is much improved, but it's very snappy. And at the range, you know, even though it's 380 ACP, uh, you know, physics are what they are. So when you're shooting this, it does have some recoil to it and you need to master it. But what's really funny is these, even though they're double stacks that have been available now, uh, these are still very popular. Guys, when we have a Glock 19 that is pretty much the same size, 9 millimeter as three of these guns, uh, you know, I mean, there's not a lot of difference, especially when carrying. The Glock's a little bigger, but not a whole lot bigger, and that's one of the reasons why 380 kind of fell to the wayside, because we could come up with a polymer striker fire pistol that was very comfortable to carry, and not hardly any difference in size than some of these other 380 ACPs, or especially the originals. But speaking of original, uh, we have the Beretta Model 84, and this is out of the Cheetah series. There was a number of different pistols that Beretta produced uh, in this line, some single stacked, some double stacked. Then we have the Browning BDA. Now this is actually made by Beretta. It has an enclosed slide, so it's a little bit different than your Beretta, but honestly, pretty much the same handgun, just a few different features to it. And then we have the CZ, and this is the Model 83. Uh, it was in 380 ACP. They also offered the Model 82, which was in 9mm Makarov. 
Uh, and you're still seeing these with police trade-ins, and for that matter, the Berettas as well. But again, I mean, when you come in with your Glock 19, it's really the same size, and yet you have 15 plus one, which most of these have 13 plus one. And you have nine millimeter, which is just a better self-defense round. But typically, it has more recoil. Now here we have nine millimeter and we have a 380. Uh, these are just full metal jacket. These are from Fiocchi and this is a 115 grain full metal jacket. This is a 95 grain full metal jacket. Uh, 380 ACP is called nine millimeter kurtzed, which means short. Uh, same diameter as your nine millimeter, just a little bit smaller bullet and less case length. So with that, you can get more powder in your nine millimeter. Now, millimeter has 34,000 PSI compared to 380, which is 21,500 PSI. So a considerable amount of difference with your pressures. Now, millimeter can get up to about 1,400 feet per second, uh, and that's a pretty hot load, but there's a lot of variations. And then when you get your 380, it's down to about 1,050 feet per second. 95 grains, but you can get different grains with the 9 millimeter. You can get some smaller grains, but common round is 115 grain. You can go all the way up to 147 grain or 124 grain. Those are good for self-defense rounds. So you have a heavier bullet moving faster. It's just going to give you better ballistics uh, in a self-defense situation. But with 380 ACP, you're going to be able to manage the handgun easier and possibly get on target easier. 200 foot-pounds of energy, of muzzle energy with the 380, and about 340 foot-pounds of muzzle energy with the 9mm. So a more capable round, but less recoil, easier to manage, better to get shot placement. So there are some advantages with 380. All right, guys, first on the list is the Ruger LCP Max. This is the smallest of the bunch. It is tiny, uh, and this is one of the guns that I carry on a very regular basis. And one of the reasons is because it is so small. Uh, if I want to go somewhere and I want to conceal carry, but I need to be very discreet, uh, this is the handgun that I choose. And I have a small pocket holster that fits really well. I mean, this is a really light gun to carry. Now, this is on the heels again of the standard LCP, which they also have the LCP-2. Uh, but this, again, is very popular, but it only holds six rounds while you have 10 rounds for the LCP Max. Still really pretty much the same size, just a little thicker at the grip. So it's a very small handgun. Now, the capacity is 10 plus 1, uh, and there is a 12 plus 1 magazine that's also available. It just sticks out just a touch past the grip. Really nice texturing. A front and rear cocking serrations. You have a little lip on the back to make it even easier to be able to bring back the slide. But honestly, this is a very light rack on the slide. And that really adds to those that may be weaker hand strength, those that have less shooting experience. And so this just gives them a little bit of an advantage. Uh, we have a tritium bead that's outlined in white at the front, and then we have blacked out sights at the back. Not bad sights for a very small pocket pistol. But overall, a really excellent handgun. Now, this weighs 10.6 ounces, so it's very lightweight. The barrel length is 2.9 inches. It's 0.8 inches in width. So again, it is extremely thin, uh, even down through the grip, which the grip does expand out just a touch. But it's not optics ready, and it doesn't have anything for a rail if that is what you're looking for. But one of the big things about the Ruger LCP Max is, again, that it is very tiny. But yet, the recoil management is not bad at all. I mean, it shoots really well. Very much different than the original LCP. Uh, one of the big things is the grip. The grip is just thicker. It gives you more to hang on to. And so this makes a very pleasant gun to shoot at the range, even though it's really tiny. But compared to all the other guns, you are going to have a little more recoil than you are with the others. But this definitely is very shootable. And to me, I mean, I really am a big fan of the Ruger LCP Max. Number two on the list as far as size would be the SIG P365-380. Now this has the Wilson Combat Grip Shell, which I changed out, mainly because I couldn't tell the difference between the 9mm and the 380 unless I looked onto the barrels. And this actually is a really excellent grip. It gives you a little more palm swell and a lot of good texturing. Uh, now, one of the things about the SIG P365 series is they've been very popular. People love them. As far as the racking of the slide, you can see 
It's very easy to do. We have 10 plus one 380 in the magazine. I don't think they make any extensions at this point. They may, but with the nine millimeter, they make a number of different type magazines. Uh, it has that nice round beaver tail area, which allows you to get your hand high up on the gun. This is fully striker fired. In fact, it's the only striker fired pistol on the table. It is optics ready. So if you want to put a red dot on here, you're ready to go. It has SIG light night sights that are already installed. Uh, and then we have a rail at the front, but it is a proprietary SIG light rail. So you have to stick with those type lights. Uh, there's no slot for your Picatinny rail, which on some of the nine millimeter versions, they're starting to go to that, especially some of the larger ones. The weight is 15.7 ounces. So it's five ounces heavier than the LCP Max, but at the range, you have a little more to grip hold of, and, and it's a great shooting little handgun. Barrel length is 3.1 inches. It's one inch in width. So again, it makes it a very small, very concealable gun. And the racking of the slide, again, is really, it's not bad at all. A lot of it has to do with just having a lighter recoil spring because the nine millimeter needs a heavier recoil spring because of the nine millimeter pressures. This has a stainless steel slide with a carbon barrel, um, an excellent handgun, and guys taking it to the range. I mean, it is a pleasure to shoot because of the 380 ACP. Definitely a little better than your LCP Max, it's a little bit smaller, so it's definitely going to have a little more muzzle flip than some of the larger options, but it's a very concealable handgun. Shoots really well. We have had no malfunctions uh, with this handgun. It's just ran like a top, and it's that SIG quality. With the night sights, it gives you that capability at night to be able to see your sights, and you can switch those out if you want, but I really like these sights. And again, put a red dot on here but a very shootable little handgun, and yet it has that really small size for concealed carry. All right, the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. Uh, the Bursa Thunder 380s were extremely popular. Single stack, eight round magazine, based on the PPK design, and then they entered the Plus, which I really like this handgun. Uh, it gives you 15 plus one, so that's the top of the bunch. Uh, and also the gun's empty, but the slide is really easy to rack. I mean, very easy. Uh, and so that makes it a great option, especially for those with weaker hand strength. It does have a magazine disconnect, uh, and it even has some beveling here on the magazine well to be able to get those magazines in really quickly. Uh, it has a rubberized grip, and it is thicker than the original, but it gives you more to grab. So when you're shooting it, uh, it's just more comfortable to shoot at the range. Now, we do have a decocker, which brings the, the hammer down, and then we can flip it back up. And the first shot will be that long double action, fairly heavy, but very smooth trigger pull. Subsequent shots will have the hammer in the rear position and a very short little trigger pull. Um, and so this gives you a double single action uh, with a fixed barrel, uh, blowback action. We have white three dot sights. We have a commander hammer aluminum frame, and we have a steel slide. This weighs 20.5 ounces, which is five ounces heavier than the SIG P365 and 10 ounces heavier than the Ruger LCP Max. But this is a little nicer when you take it out to the range. It's a 3.5 inch barrel, and the width is 1.35 inches, including the grip. So it gets to be a little bit thicker, but still manageable. There's no front cocking serrations, it's not optics ready, and you don't have a rail. So this is getting back to the old school, but still a very capable handgun. And when taking it to the range, I mean, it shoots really well. Uh, it does have the blowback action, the direct blowback, so it does come back in your hand just a little bit, but the muzzle rise is very manageable, the recoil is manageable, uh, it's a great gun to take to the range, and you have 15 plus one in the magazine, so you have a lot of capacity. Again, that grip being a little bit thicker gives you more control over the handgun. And with it being rubberized, it makes it very comfortable to shoot. Again, this was the first out of the double stack 380 ACPs that were introduced over the past few years, and it has been very popular. Now, number four, as far as size, comes in the Beretta ADX Cheetah. Uh, this again is a improvement over the original Model 84 Cheetah. 
Uh, and this is just a great gun, but there's a lot of features to this that have been added to really improve. One thing, and one of my favorites, is this 17 degree grip angle, which is more like a 1911. Uh, and so it gives you a very natural pointing. Uh, this is 13 plus one in the magazine, and it has front and rear cocking serrations. Bringing back the slide, really easy. And those aggressive uh, serrations are really easy to make this bring back. Uh, now, this one is optics ready. It does have a rail on the front and it does have front cocking serrations. Uh, one thing too is it has a dovetail sight at the front and then here at the back, this is part of your plate. Now, it is a three dot sight. Gives you a really good sight picture. It is hammer fired, uh, double single action, just like your Bursa. And that means that the first shot will have that long trigger pull. And subsequent shots, it'll be in the rear position to give you a very short trigger pull. One thing about this handgun is that with the frame safety, uh, you bring it up to decock. And then you want to make sure you bring it down so you can fire it. But a beautiful gun. In fact, to me, this is one of the most beautiful guns on the table. I was very excited when the Beretta 80X came out. I'm a big fan of the Cheetah series anyway. It has that open slide design, which is known from Beretta, and it really helps with reliability. Now it weighs 25 ounces. So again, it's five ounces heavier than the Bursa, which is five ounces heavier than the SIG and five ounces heavier than the LCP Max. So we're getting into really some weight here that honestly allows this when you're at the range to shoot very well. The barrel is 3.9 inches in length. It's 1.4 inches in width. So this is a little bit thicker than the other handguns. It does have the aluminum frame and the grips have a really nice texturing to them. And of course, front and back straps are very well textured with this beaver tail. Now taking this out to the range, it is a pleasure. Uh, you know, it shoots like a full-size gun, but yet you're shooting 380 ACP, which gives you less recoil. This is a very manageable handgun to shoot. And really it has all the state-of-the-art features that you could want. The grip is full, so you've got a good solid grip. The grip angle's nice, and so while you're shooting, I mean, it again, this is a very controllable handgun, and then bringing the 380, and it's just a lot of fun. I love shooting these handguns. And really with a lot of the 380 self-defense ammunition, it's very capable. All right, last on the list is the Security 380. Uh, this is the largest by size, uh, but it's not much larger than the Beretta 80X. I mean, it's just a touch bigger, a little bit thicker, but mainly it's just the thickness here. As far as the weight goes, this is 17.7 ounces. So this gets down to just a couple ounces uh, over the SIG P365. We have texturing here. Uh, we have a 10 plus one and a 15 plus one magazine. I have the 15 plus one inserted. Uh, and man, that slide is like super easy to rack. Uh, it is probably the lightest to rack of any of these handguns. Uh, and some of the weight has been taken out here at the front. There are cuts all through the slide. Um, and this again is part of their Security 380 series, which they have a Security 9 as well. It's very similar. Uh, it has these ears on the back that even help that come back really quickly. Uh, we have some minor serrations at the front and then larger, but you also have this area right here that you can actually do press checks if you want to. Uh, fiber optic front sight, blacked out rear, nice sight picture. This is an internal hammer fired pistol, but it has a really nice trigger pull and magazines go in really well. While we have a rail at the front, it is not optics ready. The barrel length is 3.42 inches. Uh, it's about one and a half inches in width. So it's just a touch bigger, mainly because of the controls of your Beretta. The frame is a glass filled nylon frame, which has a very nice feel to it. Guys, taking this out to the range is probably the softest shooting out of the whole bunch. Uh, there's something about that lightweight uh, recoil spring that comes back and just the larger size. It is a very soft shooting handgun. And yet it's got a full size, but still concealable. Uh, so this is a great choice for home defense, but also for concealability. Very similar to your Beretta 80X. And again, it's just a pleasure to take to the range and just shoot a box of ammo through it. Uh, when you get to some of the smaller ones, you know, after a while, they can wear on your hand. This is one that you'd really enjoy taking to the range. 
Big thanks to Fioki for sponsoring our ammunition, all made in the USA, one of the biggest suppliers of ammunition in the country. Uh, we shoot a lot of Fioki, and man, it is really clean burning, good ammunition. Uh, we're going to be shooting each one and uh, just side by side, just to get a feel for it, kind of give you an idea of some of the differences. But overall, I mean, 380 is light and recoil. And also, we appreciate Lula loaders. Uh, makes it really easy, especially when you have a lot of magazines to load. Guys, we're going to start out with the Ruger LCP Max uh, in 10 rounds, and we're going to shoot 10 rounds out of all of them just to make it even. But the smallest and the one with a little more recoil than any of the others, which is just physics. But honestly, this is a heck of a lot better than the standard LCP. The recoil on it is, for some reason, considerably more. I think a lot of it has to do with just that little bit of width in the grip. This is a tiny handgun. And this is one that I personally carry on a regular basis, especially if I'm going somewhere where I need something of deep cover, something very small that I do not want to print. And so, good little magazine. I mean, these have been great. What's funny is the LCP is still very popular, but very smooth, and really it shoots really well. Now when getting something this tiny, you need to master it. You need to get out and practice a little bit more than you would with a little bit of a larger handgun uh, because you're just gonna be able to shoot it better. But this, in your hand, very small. I mean, it's about the size of your hand. And these are very reliable. Great little gun. Then next we have the SIG P365 in 380. I'll tell you up front, it's a lot softer shooting than the LCP Max. Uh, it's just a little bit more controllable. I have one of the Wilson grips on here uh, just to differentiate it from my 9mm. But uh, this is definitely a lot softer shooting than the standard P365. We've got 10 rounds in here. And of course this is optics ready. We have a proprietary rail at the front, but it gives you a little more features. Much more controllable than the LCP Max, but it's still small. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It's a SIG. Uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit more expensive than the LCP Max, but this is a great gun. Now the Beretta ADX. This is a, a beautiful gun. Uh, I've been a big fan of the Cheetah series from Beretta for a number of years. This is really an updated version. Got your rail, optics ready. Uh, you know, it has the 1911 grip on it, and you know, it's got a really nice round capacity, which gives it more than the other two small ones. And it's a little bit larger, so it's a little bit easier to shoot. That open slide design, very smooth. Definitely less recoil than the other two, uh, but it's just a work of art honestly now this is the most expensive 380 out of the bunch that we're showing uh, but definitely the beretta quality makes it really nice man that feels good in your hand the ruger security 380 uh, you know the ruger security 9 was more of a budget friendly but yet it was a very nice little gun to carry uh, with the 380 acp this is a very soft shooting gun. In fact, out of all the 380s we're testing today, this is the softest. Uh, a little bit larger, about the size of the Beretta, but man, it just has a really nice uh, recoil impulse. I love the sights with the fiber optic, but you know, it, it does have a rail on the end. It's not necessarily optics ready. Very smooth, and again, the best recoil out of the bunch.
those sights really show up well. Uh, and the one thing about it, the trigger's kind of thin, and so it can give you a little bit on your finger, but overall, uh, just a great shooting gun, very reasonable in price, uh, just like the LCP Max. It's going to be more of the reasonable side of the, these five that we're showing, but a really great shooter. I mean, that thing hardly moves. I mean, it's just a very comfortable gun to shoot. This is a great one, especially for female shooters or those with little shooting experience. Then we have the Bursa 380 Thunder, and this is the Plus. Uh, this is a double stack magazine Thunder, and they've had this out for a number of years. In fact, they kept carrying the double stack line way after a lot of other companies stopped producing. Uh, so this is one that I did a review on a number of years ago, and this is a great little gun but it's more of a direct blowback. Uh, the others are too, but this is more of your fixed barrel direct blowback that has a little more recoil uh, than the other larger two, but still a little less than some of the small, tiny ones. But man, this, just like a PPK, it has that same feel to it, but just a little bit wider grip. Now this one has the decocker. So when I bring that down, brings it into decock, and then, of course, it's double single action, just like the Beretta is. So it gives you just a little bit more safety, if that's what you want. But still a great shooting gun, but the Beretta, to me, feels a little bit uh, less recoil, felt recoil, and then the Ruger is definitely the top of the bunch. This is a, this is a great little gun. For, especially for a budget price. Now, as far as price goes, I'm going to quote MSRP. Uh, all of these can be purchased typically at your local gun shop for less. The Ruger LCP Max, we're looking at $479 retail. Uh, when it comes to the SIG P365 380, we're looking at $499.99 full retail. Uh, the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus is $399. So it's a little bit on the lower end of the price range. When you get your Beretta Model 80X, uh, this is $819 MSRP, so it's the highest of the bunch. The Ruger Security 380, $369 retail. And so this is gonna be the lowest priced on the table. So it's great to see 380 ACP making a resurgence in the self-defense market. Uh, obviously with the five different choices, uh, it just gives you some different options and obviously these are all very different handguns uh, and we will probably be seeing more because 380 ACP has really made a comeback. Low recoil, uh, easy for those with lesser hand strength and again you may be a seasoned shooter but man you can really put rounds on target quickly with 380 ACP. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. that you're looking for okay now the next one that came out was okay okay we're not doing it like that but honestly in the current 380 ACP make okay but honestly currently uh, okay but honestly over the years the Walther okay <laughs> and it holds 13 plus one okay no it doesn't again price is less at your local gun shop. okay I've already said that 27 times good God